Yeah, so let me share my screen. Okay, so today we'll be uh, exploring about uh, different how to create project templates, uh, navigation in the level and how to test play. And I'll also show you how we can create the basic geometries inside this, how we can just uh, edit uh, certain geometry inside this. Okay, so this will be the today's topic uh, which we'll be covering inside Unreal. Uh, so first thing. I uh, will be starting with some kind of project uh, so whether you are going for game project or something so we'll just start with this blank project over here so click on this blank project click on create okay so I can choose any uh, any of that but we'll just start with this blank project right now okay yeah so let it takes time to load that again uh, so as soon as you create the project again it will take some time to load it uh, once it loads uh, it will load all the uh, files what is required for that project inside this and we'll just start seeing that It's taking a little longer time. Eighty-three percent starts. Some of this uh, sound, everything, it is starting uh, with that particular project now. So it's almost loading. Yeah, so it has started with this uh, uh, project now. So this is like empty project, which is just a blank project, and it's having some of this uh, minimum uh, settings over here. Okay. Oh. So uh, if you don't want any of this uh, object inside the scene, I can just go over here and I can just start deleting this. So here it is called static mesh. If I just go for this here inside the static mesh, these are the geometries. These are called the static mesh, which is over here. I can just start uh, with that. Okay. Yeah. So this is what we have this uh, empty space. Uh, so now uh, to navigate inside this, uh, now it is in like a single view. So you want to go to the four views over here. I can just click on this, maximize the views, and I can see there are different views uh, over here. Okay, so this is the back view or front view we can call it. This is the right side view. Uh, this is the top view. This is how I see the scene from the top view over here. And I can just see uh, this is called a perspective view uh, for my scene. Okay, so any of the geometry uh, you, you want to create, uh, what all the objects are there inside this scene is called uh, actors so all these elements inside unreal uh, it is called actors so whether it is a chair uh, these are all called as actors and here on the left side we can just see that so this is what we have this actors uh, point light if you want to add some kind of lighting to the scene we have this light option and uh, we can place this actors over here we can just see these are the different uh, basic settings over here so if i just click on this light 
I can see the different types of lights. If I click on these shapes, uh, we have different geometries which I can just click and drag and drop it inside this particular uh, view. Uh, if I go to this cinematic, uh, here we can set up some kind of cameras uh, over here. So if you want to add some kind of camera inside the scene, we have this camera uh, over here. And next is visual effects where you can apply some kind of sky atmosphere over here. So by default when you create any kind of scene, uh, there is always some kind of skylight uh, which is over here. So you can just see that there is something called skylight. So any object you want to select inside the scene, uh, you can click it and select or you can also go to this outliner. So this uh, thing is called outliner and here we can see the properties of that particular object. So if it is a chair, so if I just go to this general attribute, uh, this is the properties of that particular object over here. So you can see where the location of that. Uh, this is X axis, this is Y axis and this is Z axis. Uh, so this is the location of that particular object. So if you want to shift, I can just left click over there. Uh, so it will change into this and I can shift it over here like. Or uh, you can also go uh, over here on this top view and I can also do that. Or you can just click it over here. You want to rotate the chair position in x y and z axis you can just see it over here as i'm changing you can also scale it okay so when you are scaling that what is happening or is it is scaling only in this one particular axis so you can also lock it so when i lock everything it will scale uh, over here so if you want to scale it into a bigger size i can scale it like that okay so this is the scale option and i'll just maximize this viewport so there are different shortcuts which you need to remember uh, W, E, E is for rotation, W is for move. So any object you select and you want to move it, uh, W is a shortcut for uh, selecting the object and moving it. E is a shortcut for rotating that object. Suppose if I want to place or adjust this object over here. So I can place E and uh, to rotate this viewport, Alt and left click. Suppose I just want to rotate inside the perspective viewport. So I can just rotate like this. Press W and I can shift the chair over here. Again hold Alt and left click to rotate the view. So I can just rotate the view and check it. And suppose this is another object. Press E and just rotate that. Okay. So like this we can adjust any of these objects inside the scene. Uh, so we can just keep on uh, moving now over here so again press W to move it over here and sh and uh, suppose if you want to have a one more copy of this particular object uh, either you can also go to edit and press ctrl D or you can also copy and paste you can press ctrl C and ctrl V also it will work so if I just see select this ctrl C ctrl V it has a one more copy of it so you can duplicate like this E is a shortcut to rotate so when I press E on my keyboard I can uh, see this one more shortcut which I can rotate so I just want some four chairs over here inside the scene and we have this particular project uh, this also you want to duplicate uh, so there is one more shortcut which if you want to duplicate this particular chair so instead of going to edit copy and paste uh, you can also press W on your keyboard and hold alt alt and left click and I can duplicate this chair as well, here also okay so alt and left click is a shortcut to duplicate <laughs> any of this object over here so I'm just trying to create some kind of scene uh, inside this uh, by adding some kind of chairs over there suppose uh, different elements also so you want to extend this uh, element over here so you just press w left click alt and drag it suppose this you want to make it x more alt and drag it so i'm just started creating uh, duplicating this particular static uh, objects which are already there inside uh, my scene okay so anytime you want to rotate uh, this uh, scene over here I can also rotate it I just want to make it more copy alt and left click and drag this 
select this object again hold alt and left click and drag it so just start creating little bit of bigger scene so if you want to uh, just move it over here so exactly in the same place and it will automatically snap it to that uh, back side also you want some more space so i can select this multiple objects like this uh, by holding shift so select shift and shift and click on this alt and drag this so i have uh, this whole scene now so if i just want to uh, move around inside this scene and you want to check it you can just check it around this okay so these are my static mesh uh, and the same mesh you want to duplicate uh, inside the scene uh, and rotate it right so uh, you want to rotate this object you know what to do so press e on your keyboard hold alt and duplicate so when i hold alt on my keyboard it is going to duplicate also the same mesh over here okay so i'm just trying to create some kind of walls okay so if i press r it can scale also so i can just scale this object over here and i can just uh, change the position of this slowly uh, or here also if you just want to scale that so you can also hold uh, left click and just start adjusting that scale okay so if you want to adjust it only one particular axis also you can do it so but i just want to use like this again press e hold alt left click and just start rotating that okay so just make it a uh, proper rotation for this again if you feel that here you want to type it so you can also type minus 90 for the rotation here also you can just make minus 90 for the rotation so here it is minus you can also change it to plus so just uh, creating some kind of surrounding uh, for this room right over here so if you just want to snap it press w and just snap it over here so it will uh, snap to the corner of this properly and we can just start adjusting this layer again uh, so the same layer you can just duplicate it alt left click and drag it okay so alt and left click we can just rotate it and if you want to make sure that it is in a proper place uh, what we can do is here we have an option for uh, snapping it over here so grid snap option is there so if you want to snap by one point you want to snap by uh, 50 points you want to snap the grid by 100 points so here we can snap it if you want to snap it by one one pixels uh, you can just see this one one point it will uh, try to snap it over here so if you want to snap by 10 10 you can just snap by 10 10 uh, uh, points over there so this is the snapping tools which you can enable for adjusting that or if i go to the four views so i can see it more properly uh, i can use scroll to zoom in so i can just see that i can just use the scroll tool to zoom in and i can snap it more properly from the top view so this is the view uh, which i am seeing from the top okay so uh, you can adjust it over here so if i just hold uh, left click and right click i can zoom in and zoom out either you can use the scroll okay or you can hold uh, left click and right click over here so that is one uh, thing which you can uh, use it over here so this is what my tool is so now to again we can maximize to the perspective view and now i can just see it over here okay so again if you want to create some more walls over here right so if you want to add some kind of more geometry uh, in this particular place uh, so here we have one more option for geometries over here so if i just click on this we can see there is some kind of geometries which you can add it uh, to the scene so these are called uh, bsp geometries which are uh, default inside this it is like a brushes uh, so i can model it quickly using this uh, geometry over here so we have stairs we have spiral stairs so we have this box so we can just click and drag and drop this box into the scene so it will look like this kind of checker because we didn't apply any kind of material uh, to this or any kind of texture for this 
so uh, press R again let's start making this over here so I just want to create some kind of room In this place again let's press R and just start adjusting this and start moving it over suppose if I feel that this is fine over here I can just keep it in that proper place and height also so let's make this height move it up okay uh, so now I have one geometry over here suppose if you want to create some kind of door inside this uh, so I can use this same kind of mesh or you can create an another uh, object over here to create some kind of door so let's use another box okay so alt and left click press R scale scale it place it over there and just place it here okay press R again let's scale it press W place it over here again R so how much you want the door size for that uh, object over here so I can just place it in this place and I can also adjust the thickness of this so when I adjust the thickness now we got this kind of door and as you see that there is different properties of this brushes uh, so by default it will be additive so uh, what will happen over here if it is additive it will just place over there uh, but what will happen if I just make it over here as a subtractive so what will happen is it will create that uh, hole uh, over here like a for a door and anytime I can also adjust that geometry uh, suppose uh, we have this floor right so we can just see that there are different floors and here uh, we have this brushes so these are the static geometry which we already had and here we have different brushes so if you anytime you feel that the door is too big and you want to make it small I can adjust that see this now over here and bring it down uh, same geometry I want to keep it on the other side again you hold alt left click and drag it so I can just see that there is another a uh, door over here same thing if I just hold alt left click and drag it make it over here press R let's scale this to into a smaller size now so very thin wall I want and the same brushes so if I just want to duplicate so hold alt and drag it see that automatically it will create that uh, hole over there so again hold alt and drag it it automatically creates that uh, hole over here so if you want to feel that in this side of the place I want to add some kind of window uh, uh, we can always scale that so press R and then start scaling it press W start moving it up so I want some kind of windows alt and drag so you can place it wherever I want uh, only thing you have to enable over here is on the properties you have to brush type you have to make it subtractive so as I make it subtractive I can keep on adding this shape wherever I want and uh, uh, this will start creating that gaps over there so now this is done and now if you just want to uh, close this top part as well so you can just select this uh, layer so let's select this one hold alt drag it on the top and press R on your keyboard so this is the same thing I am doing it uh, uh, to close that whole door over here so again R to close it now when you start closing that there is no light uh, which will be coming into the room so you can just see that whatever this light is there uh, from the sky it will not come over there because there is there are no windows in this particular place so you will not be able to see any kind of lights inside the uh, scene over here okay so once you have done to navigate over here alt left click alt middle mouse to pan it over here okay uh, so here it will ask for uh, lighting needs to be rebuilt uh, over here so uh, whenever you uh, add some kind of objects and all or anything over here so it will ask for building the lights uh, because there are already some kind of default lights so you have to go to this build build lighting only and it will start uh, calculating that light uh, properties over here and it will see that 
uh, once it is done uh, we'll be able to see that how it works the whole scene okay so light building it takes uh, some kind of time uh, when you are uh, adding that to the scene over here so let's say that so that now it is done so it has start uh, uh, building the light over here so it is uh, still exporting the lighting data on the right side you can see uh, so once you build a light it will uh, again export the lighting data and it will tell the unreal engine that uh, these are the certain objects which uh, lighting needs to be added and it will do right okay so this is what will happen uh, inside this scene uh, so there are some new people who has joined uh, okay so yeah it is done uh, so what i want you to do is you have to go uh, to the google uh, drive classroom and inside the classroom until it uh, builds over there i can just show you that uh, who has joined newly uh, they can go to this classroom uh, you need to join and accept the invitation over here uh, so i think only few of you has accepted so you need to accept the invitation and inside this class work uh, this is the first class which I showed how to install uh, and download uh, this Unreal Engine. Uh, so you can just uh, go through that, uh, just download uh, because for the next uh, class or next sessions when you are done, uh, doing, you should be uh, you should be able to uh, work on it. Otherwise, it will be too difficult for you to understand the whole lessons. So every uh, every session I'll be uploading all the PDF and uh, and the video recording as well. So just go through that uh, and now I think it has done the light building over here. So now we can just see uh, now if you want to play and check it. So this particular thing you want to play and check. So here you have an option for playing that level. So alt and now. So now I can see that I can just use press W in my keyboard and I can just uh, play and check it over here. I can go to any of these rooms. Okay, so uh, W A S D uh, is the how you play the game. So that is how the same shortcuts will be. And escape you press to come out of the game mode. Okay, so here uh, you can see that this button which will uh, if I click on that button it will start uh, playing the level. So Alt P is a shortcut for that and whenever i create any of the objects inside the scene right so here we have this uh, thing called player start so this is where uh, every time if i just click on this uh, play uh, i where you want the character to be where you want to start the game to be so this is what this is the place of the player start so you can also move it wherever you want so if i just click on this and drag it Suppose I want the character to be starting at this place over here. So now what will happen is uh, now if you just press Alt P on your keyboard, Alt P is a shortcut for that. Now you can see where I am keeping this character. So this character is standing over here. Can you see? Uh, yes. so, so if I press Q it will go down if I press spacebar it will stand up if I uh, press this now you can just see that how it is going more up there's no yeah. gravity inside the scene for the character right now but you can just Q is a shortcut if you want to move the camera down yes. Q. Uh, now I'll be able to move this over now escape so any of this object you want to still add into the scene uh, we can still add it uh, over here. So if I just show you this one more thing, if I just press Alt P, uh, let's see this whether I can move through this wall as well. Yeah, so it is not moving right now. So it is by default it is uh, taking as a uh, collision. So sometimes what happen is this brushes will not take as a collision object, and we will be we can bypass through that. A particular object but at present it is uh, this whatever this actor is this camera it is actually colliding with this wall and uh, uh, we are we are not able to move further with this 
okay so the same thing uh, what i want uh, what we can do it over here so I'll, in the top also i'll just use uh, some kind of our uh, brushes same this a uh, bsp brush so let's add this select this top part go to the four views and from the top view right so i'll just use this top view and just start drawing this cube over here okay so i need to drag and drop this box actually it is selecting everything so let's draw for closing this so i have this uh, object now you just uh, want to scale that so press r let's scale it scale it over here scale it in this place as well press w let's start adjusting it or press r let's scale it press w again let's start fixing it over here and press r let's start scaling and start adjusting this uh, bsp brushes uh, over here so we will be going into the editing mode also for now, right now i just want you to just uh, use this scale uh, position uh, tools to adjust this and uh, work around that later we'll see how we can edit this particular mesh uh, also so let's bring this down still here so i just want to fix that and this place and you want something uh, like some kind of stairs also i want to add on the top of this uh, layer so uh, i'll just duplicate the same again you just add some box over here so control z just drag and drop this box again over here and uh, what is the uh, thing which we have to do to subtract the object if i want to create a hole over here uh, so what is the thing i need to do we need to enable subtractive option in the brush yeah so you have to come to this brush type and here you just click on subtractive so now yeah. i can see this uh, wall uh, and it is having some hole over there so suppose if you want to add some kind of stairs now so we'll be adding some stairs as well uh, over here for the character to go so we also have this stairs uh, bsp brushes so if you want a spiral staircase or a linear stairs case uh, you can just drag and drop okay so if i just drag and drop i can scale it uh, and adjust this uh, height uh, according to whatever i want it scale adjust it change the position of that and uh, there are a lot of attributes of that also over here so how much you want to adjust the width of the stairs so you can reduce that left side so if i just go to this now we can just see how much we want this uh, stairs uh, width over here inside this we can also adjust the height of the stairs so if you want little less height we can also adjust the height and here we have the step height so step height of you you want you can adjust it thickness of this so there are different properties which you can adjust number of steps if you want more more and more uh, spiral thing if you want to adjust it we can also adjust that step okay so if you want a spiral you can adjust the spiral one if you want a linear steps you can also adjust this linear steps over here so you can just see from the top view and you can just start adjusting that rotation of that so press e and adjust the rotation of press w bring it over here in this place so i'm just trying to fix it uh, according to the top view how it should be and i need to increase the height of this so here we have the step height so i can uh, fix the step height over here so how much you want uh, length of this also we can adjust it if you want more length step height till here now we have this different uh, uh, steps height over here so number of steps if you want to increase uh, we have this number of steps so if you want more number of steps over here so uh, what i'll do is i'll just reduce the height of this little down and then you increase this number of steps more to go over there so we can just come down like this and we have this 
little bit of more height and this is 10 okay so now we can just start uh, playing the uh, gameplay over here so where my character will come so i can just play that now it is over here space just go go over here I can also climb the steps and come back just escape to come out of that so this is what the uh, which you can play it so whatever the objects we are creating over here it is already having the collision enabled uh, inside this and we can uh, keep on adding the steps so again when uh, something you want to add on the top of this uh, some room you want to add on the top of this so again you can just start with some box like this so let's go for this again top view let's add one box again so this is exactly coming on the top of that press R R for adjusting the scale okay and this side also Okay, so how much height you want for this? Again, you can just increase the height of this. Let's start adjusting the scale little more. Uh, so the problem with this brushes is there. I will just show you what will happen if we just uh, start adding this uh, brushes uh, over here. And if I just go into this room, so what will happen? I'll just show that. So press W, make it over here. Okay, so come out of this now if I just go into this right so if I'm just going inside this room I might need to bring it down little bit here till here and if you just go over here so let's go inside this room uh, see that it looks hollow so everything looks uh, from uh, outside it is seeing that we have the wall uh, but when you go inside this room right so what is this showing is it becomes hollow over here so there is no thickness for that wall and I can see everything through that over here. So for adjusting that particular attribute over here. So what we have to do is we just need to duplicate the same brush. Uh, I'll be just showing you. So uh, what we'll be doing. So duplicate alt and drag it and just bring it to the same place. And here I'll just make it like uh, around 10, 10 uh, this thing, right? So uh, instead of 200, I'll make 190. So I'm just giving the thickness for this. Uh, so I am making the whatever the inside duplicated box into a smaller size and here I can go for subtract. So what will it will do is it will create the hollow. You can just see that what it happened now. Yes. Yeah. So I just uh, um, subtracted that and uh, we are able to use this. So if it is additive again it is nothing is happening over here so i'm creating i'm creating a box inside that box i'm adding another box and just making subtractive so i'll be able to see this uh, space right now okay yeah okay. so yes. uh, yeah so there is this is one more box which we had it over here which we have used for creating the uh, hollowness for this right so we need to see that this is the box and it is not doing anything for this top box over here you can just see uh, it is not having any kind of effects for this box so you need to create another box and subtract you for this box as well okay, okay. so this is what we have the scene so if you want to create uh, another uh, building on the top so you can create like this or you just go to this box and again you start uh, pulling this out so i can just select all this whole thing so let's uh, go to the full view shift select this and this also and let's drag alt and drag it so this okay so yes. i don't have to uh, again uh, do all that so that is using the bsp brushes but if you want like this uh, object to be over here so same thing i just want to bring it alt and drag it on this side as well and we have this objects also over here 
so now we can just play around with this uh, gameplay and just try and check that over here so again we can just press alt p so when i press alt p now we have this building let's start playing that climbing up now we have this whole place over here Okay, so uh, this is how we can just create uh, using this uh, geometries. So I, any of the model you want to create and you want to add uh, this over here. So we can subtract any of the geometry from this. Suppose if you have this uh, spherical object, so I will just drag and drop this spherical object over here. And here I need to make it more smooth. So just make that object smooth. let's make it over here on the top just want to add it over here press R on your keyboard to scale the whole sphere press W let's add this <coughs> here let's make more spherical shape for the uh, over here so uh, wherever you want to place that uh, particular spherical object I want to scale it more so I'll be just cutting that out and uh, playing around with this shape more using since this is a BSP brush let's make it more not an issue I'll be subtracting the geometry from here so let's make it till this much big and I don't want uh, this below geometry over here right so i'll just create one box and i'll be just subtracting that from this so again use one more box press r scale that suppose here till here you want this box to be uh, scale over here press w click it and here if i come and use subtractive so again yes. okay so using this you can also move it up wherever you want to adjust the position of that uh, you can just see that if you want to cut it from this side of that window so, so we can modify it wherever you want so if i just press r on my keyboard i scale this down and i want some space over here uh, empty space so you can also have this press r so it is like uh, subtracting the one geometry from another and we can we'll be able to see that over here okay so this is what this BSP geometries will do so if you want to start creating something uh, you can just start uh, with any kind of templates which you have okay so now if I just go to the file uh, here also we have different options for this so uh, this is one level what we have uh, created so if I just go to file and you want to save that as a level so i can just save that as a current level right now okay so we can also uh, create a new level over here so if i just go to file new and here we can see that again we have different levels you want to start with so you can just start with and uh, again with a new level you can just click on that and it will create this level for me so this is having some kind of mountains also inside this level and uh, it is having some kind of uh, environment also so what i want you to do is you need to create some kind of environment inside this so start adding some kind of box uh, and using this box cylindrical shapes you can just try uh, some kind of basic environment over here let's draw this box drag and drop left click and drag and drop so the box is there inside the scene press r scale this box how much you want to scale it over here uh, so if i'm uh, seeing that we can just adjust it how much size we want for this box uh, over here inside the scene and you just need to start adding more of the pillars as well so let's add this add some kind of cylinder shape
uh, how much big you want it inside the seam hold alt let's drag and drop so this cylindrical shapes you can uh, just this, this is how we can just do the blocking of our environment so whatever the environment i'm creating uh, we can make the use of this bsp brushes and we can just start placing it wherever it is required inside the seam uh, now if i just play the game over here just click on this play button we'll be able to see that okay so now if i click on this here we can just move it and then start adjusting this position okay so uh, w a s d are the shortcut which you can adjust this uh, and if left just move the mouse to see around so when i just move the mouse left and right i can see around it uh, so if you want to move w is a shortcut so this is like if you have played uh, played a games you will know uh, w a s d uh, are the keys so s is a key to move it backward w is the key to move forward a and d are the keys to adjust left and right okay so if i just press escape i'll come back to my uh, view over here so I, I i can adjust or make whatever the since i want to add it over here and uh, you want to add some kind of more elements into this here we have something called starter content so uh, if you don't feel that you don't want this uh, objects over here i'll just remove uh, we also have something called starter content folder and here it is called content browser so uh, you can enable this over here if i just click on that uh, it will enable this content browser so if i just close it uh, if i just click on this control space bar it will open that okay so if you are not seeing that content browser over here you can just press control and space bar to open that content browser uh, over here now open the starter content and here uh, you can see there are different options so if you go for shapes uh, we have different shapes uh, if you go for props we have different uh, props to add to the scene uh, and if i go for maps so here we have different uh, maps for adding it over here so let's see what we can add it to the scene uh, from this existing uh, thing which we have and here we have the materials so any project you are creating by default it will be having lot of materials also uh, inside it so that we'll see uh, how it goes uh, and we have with certain blueprints and architectural when you go there you will find this walls uh, and wall doors and everything so you can just drag and drop so as soon as i drag and drop you can just see this uh, over here so if i just press f uh, i can zoom into that particular uh, object over here so f f is a shortcut for zooming now this is the proper height of the wall you can just start adding it to create uh, this whole surface now so let's start adding it wherever we want this suppose uh, any other object you want control space bar uh, this you want some kind of door so drag and drop let's bring it in this place and just start scaling that so i can just place it wherever i want and then start press r again to scale it up okay so if you want to adjust it uh, over here so we have this detail option also so i can also uh, unlink this and start scaling it over here so this is y axis and this is the z axis so i can just need to adjust using the z axis so we can see that over here. w again so this is what we have uh, so anything you want to create uh, own house over here uh, so we can always use that e just rotate it alt and uh, click it to rotate so it is better we can just go to the four views and uh, you can just start modeling so f click on this f and i can see this object select this f f is a shortcut for that so if i just press f on my keyboard it is going to zoom towards that object you can just see this okay so scroll also we can do we can also place f so this is a easy way to uh, do it so when you are modeling uh, you can just uh, keep this viewport to check that and i can just duplicate it over here alt and drag it again alt and drag it again 
so you need to see the space over here to match it you can snap also so let's snap this select this and snap it okay so just start uh, planning and adding so either you can use this content drawer uh, if you want to add something uh, to this so here we have different meshes uh, which you can use it over here so wall what is the height of the wall everything is given over here so we can make the use of this floor so let's you want to add some kind of floor to the uh, ground you can also drag and drop this so that will act like some kind of floor so by default we have that but if you want to add on the top or something we can make the use of this okay so and you can keep saving the project so uh, I can save the level or you can also save the whole project uh, so when you are clicking it over here you are uh, saving that uh, project over here so when you click on save all it is going to save project as well as all the levels whatever you have created inside this so if I just save all uh, you can just see some maps or it is asking for it so I, ca I just need to give the name for this so basic basic building and I'll just there should be no space uh, for that so it is creating a map for me as a, a level it is saving it right now so you can just see this okay so yeah so this is what uh, we have uh, things so what I want you to do is using this basic uh, objects or geometries uh, you can just start creating some kind of level and uh, we can play uh, around that suppose if I just go to file uh, and if I just want to choose a different project uh, or if I want to open another project over here I can open another project or uh, when you click on new project so it will ask for different types of projects which we have it over here so first thing what we have created is this blank one so you also have so if you want to uh, create some like object inside the scene or uh, first person uh, shooter uh, kind of thing and you create your static object over here and you want to make uh, some kind of environment so that character can move around so you can choose this template or if you want to see the character also uh, this is the third person template where I can see my character as well so this is the first person template this is third person template uh, if I just use this I'll be able to play as well uh, the whole uh, game so I can just show you that so again it will load it uh, so again it will start creating a different project so uh, level is different and project is different so you can create as many level inside one particular project uh, inside this okay so this is that we have the project I'm just starting it again uh, some kind of single person uh, shooter project over here so in which you will see the character uh, point of view and you will see some kind of gun also which is one other blueprint uh, which you can select you can shoot any of the objects inside the scene uh, so it will be like single person uh, shooter game kind of thing which is like that template will work so let me show that as well uh, so uh, till now anyone any doubts uh, till now so I want you also to try uh, and show me by tomorrow if you can do something some basic uh, thing uh, whatever you have done uh, I think someone has told they have done something can uh, can you share the screen with that um, yes sir yeah uh, yesterday we were uh, actually doing the first person perspective basics right okay so you asked us uh, go through that and uh, delete and do something with it yeah so uh, I'll be sharing that yeah yes uh, shall I now yeah, yeah you can share now I'll no, just stop yeah. uh, so you can just start sharing okay share uh, could you see my screen yeah yeah I can okay so uh, you know the Jenga game right which one Jenga where uh, there'll be blocks of you know like wooden blocks where you can move it with your hand uh, yeah yeah okay so same concept, I just use the whatever resources we had to make it. Okay. Using shooting, we'll be able to do the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. 
so like that so i had to adjust the physics of the whole blocks to make sure that it they won't fly away and all mm-hmm. so you have added some mesh uh, weight for that mass i increased the weight uh, oh. and initially they were simply flying off everywhere so okay. i had to increase the weight apply uh, gravity and physics and stuff to make them stay properly yeah and it was difficult to place all this together so that okay. is something i think today whatever you told would help to place them easily yeah, yeah. and uh, i also made a stair so that i can go up and shoot the things properly okay and from top okay it would be helpful if i can make a pointer where uh, where i'm shooting uh, in order to know that yeah, yeah. so uh, this uh, i'm planning to implement that once you you know like get into all those things uh, yeah sure sure i'd like to continue <laughs> okay uh, so if you want to add, add any more environment to it you can still add it uh, like uh, mm. the surrounding and all so we'll be just mm. uh, when i'll show you that uh, how to apply the material and textures i think it will be nice to see the yeah. whole scene mm. okay. currently it was taking too much memory so i disabled the overall background environment and kept the only things i needed yeah, yeah. Uh, that is also yeah nice it is. Okay. thank you uh Darshan, Aditya, have you tried? Yes, sir. Uh, we tried just the basics. We tried, but uh, whatever the basic stuff is there in the scene, we tried that. But, but we have not created a one one asset so far. So okay. today we will try. Okay, fine. So one assets we'll uh, see when we go through more deep. Uh, but now you can just use the basic blocking. Uh, as I okay. showed you the, today, the BSP brushes. So with the help of that. Uh, whatever you can do you can just try uh, doing that yeah sir sure okay. sure yeah. yeah aditya yeah uh, i went to the overview of that and i have created uh, and just played around it yeah i have not uh, saved as such uh, today's one i can do it and just uh, uh, create something okay aditya uh, yeah. uh ravin sir yes sir i'll be seeing the previous session and uh, Yeah. I'll also do it. So you try installing that and uh, okay. Sure. Okay, guys. So uh, tomorrow we'll be be going with uh, more uh, different topics. So I'll be showing the static mesh and how to import from other software as well. Uh, so for today's class, if you have any doubt, you can ask. Uh, sir, I have one doubt. Yeah. uh basically as, as you as you told uh, whatever the default meshes is there no the mm. best meshes mm. so for that uh, you said that the collision will be there defaultly mm. so suppose if we import uh, any uh, object from outside unreal mm. so mm. for that we need to create one co- collision thing right uh you might need to enable sometimes the physics uh, uh, inside that uh, simulation has to be enabled in some of the meshes but by default okay. it will come if you want that object to move then you have to enable the dynamic simulation option otherwise it will remain in the same place it won't move uh, so you need to make sure that dynamic simulation is on uh, for okay. that particular object like if you are bringing some box and you want uh, the whatever the bullet to shoot on the box and it should fly or move then you have yeah. to make sure that the dynamic simulation is on otherwise that box remains in the same place it doesn't affect with the character or something yeah sure sir sure okay okay yeah okay guys so see you tomorrow uh, and hope you are uh, doing good hope you are understanding that whole sessions yes sir is it clear yes or, sir yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah fine i am going <laughs> fast or slow you can is it fine with the same no, pace sir, it's okay. yes sir the yeah, pace is fine it's fine okay guys so see you tomorrow Sure, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.